Okay, how's that? I think okay. that's good. What's going on, everybody? So this is my wife, Salamita, and I'm gonna have her talk a little bit about her customizing my website. And this is from a project that I actually worked on for Brad Traversy, uh, which we just released last week, or actually I worked on it last week, but I released it on Wednesday. So some of you guys may have seen that. And in that video, what I did is I built out a full portfolio website. I went from start to finish to hosting it. And uh, she actually followed my tutorial and put this whole site together, but she put her own customizations on it. So I just want to show you the site that I built. So if you haven't seen that video, I definitely recommend you check it out. And uh, if you don't have a portfolio, maybe you can use that one. But uh, here's my website here. So it's just this website that has this theme switcher right here. And uh, if you scroll down, it's just a portfolio website that has all this information about me, my resume, and some blogs that I'm going to be posting along with a contact form. So she got this website and customized it and made it look like this. So she followed that entire tutorial, but she put her own spin on it. And if you look at the difference between mine and hers, this whole section is different. She used different colors and she put this new morphic design, which I'm going to have her talk about. But uh, her colors are really cool. It looks a little bit different than mine, but... Um, I feel like she did a really good job with it. So her background, um, she just started, she's a graphic designer. She does all of my portfolio work for my thumbnails, anything like that. And she just started coding about three months ago. So I was pretty impressed by this. It took her about two days to finish this. And I just want to show you the different themes and I'll give it to her. So this is the pink theme right here and the green and purple. So uh, if you can just go, oh, orange. Okay, I thought that was purple. So if you can, just go ahead and talk a little bit about, you know, some of the features, what you did differently. Yeah, so when I was following the tutorial, um, it's kind of hard for me to be, like, learning HTML and CSS because I went from just designing and stuff. So for me to be interested in it and have, like, to, like, stay vested into it, I guess, um, is to start personalizing it right away. So I immediately tried to make it fun and something that represents me a lot more. So um, I, d I went for the colors right away just to make them fun, um, to make it enjoyable. And then the first thing I did was the new morphic design. And then that's when I was like, okay, I definitely want to personalize it more and go with the new morphic theme, I guess. And um, yeah, and then I just wanted to change this area. Wait, why isn't it moving? The mouse, the mouse. is moving. Oh, it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think this blob effect i forgot what the website is called but i will probably link it um i just copied the code for that and um, i took away a lot of the borders i added my own variables for all of this and so she added it. yeah so she added some of her own styling here and uh she built out most of it again in two days but most of it by herself the javascript portion i had to help her a little mm -hmm. bit with that but i definitely like her color palette and her font here and that blob with a pneumorphic design uh, definitely looks pretty cool so um yeah that's that's all you had for for your notes there or? Uh, let me see what else i had um yeah i just went for a lighter look dennis went more for a darker theme and i also um simplified it a lot i took away like yeah, a definitely. lot of text and the shadows and stuff like that and then i customized this part to make a new morphic inside and outside um with these with the input the fields <laughs> i forgot what they're called yeah. Yeah. but yeah so. okay so um, for my website, this is actually going to be my portfolio website. She's actually completely making her own. She did this just to practice because she's still learning, but, uh, mine is going to be on Dennis right now. It's not transferred. Uh, I have the template done, but for the back end, I'm actually working on the Django side. So for those of you that want to learn how to integrate that, I'm still working on that. So it's going to take me a few days to finish that up and I'm actually going to put it up on that website. So you're still going to see that, uh, static website that I have there now. And uh, I definitely recommend you guys check this out. We're gonna put the source code for this link right here. Uh, also in the comment section along with my website and the source code for both of these. So you can actually take a look at her source code and start working with that. So definitely check out Brad's video. And I would love to see some of your guys' designs. If you guys have something, uh, send them in the comment section or just send them to me. I'd love to see what you guys are building and how you guys customize this. So I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, I'll see your guys' uh, portfolios once you guys send them.